Alrighty guys, well we got that field all done and because it's supposed to rain like a banjee over the next three or four days and it's like 7.30 I figure two, two and a half hours I should have it all harrowed off so let's get at her, right? We got 60 feet I got the tire fixed actually, all I did some of you might recall the Hayland drag that I built I showed it to uh, you guys in one of our previous videos anyway it's got the same tires as what this thing uses so there it is that real black nice shiny black one and I didn't have to do nothing to it all I have to do is pull it off the Hayland drag and throw it on here good to go Yahoo anywho uh, we should be ready to rock and roll just the way it is all right let's get at her hit these ruts a little bit kind of level them out some if I don't get stuck first There's the cultivator for when we need to come back here and uh, uh, work with it in the centerpiece that's really green. So yeah. Anyways, I'll bring you guys back a little bit later. We're going to get rocking and rolling here. Talk to you. I think it's a little soft over there where that outside wing tire is. But I'm hoping by having that harrow out in the middle of that water run, it'll help dry, it'll tickle the surface there a little bit and help dry it down a little bit. Probably not, but I'm hoping. Yep, she's a little soft in spots. I can't even pull this harrow through there, I'll get stuck. At least with it down, I would. I got through here, but that was with it more or less up. She's a Scotty's little softy. Let's keep on going. Talk to you guys later. Well, there we go, guys. She's all done. Sorry about the dirty windows, but a little tiny bit of dust, not very much. Well, that makes me feel good. We got this kind of done. Now we just got to get out here and get the seed in the ground. Fun, fun, fun. Catch y'all nah, tomorrow. Later, guys. Morning. Clip number three. Having issues here with the telly. With the camera. Uh... Starting a little later here this morning. It friggin' rained. Hit the pillow at midnight. And then it started raining shortly after. How much did we get? And it just kind of slowed down. It's still drizzly. Three tenths. And it's still wanting to rain a little bit. Anyway, what's going on? Well, our heifers are out. They're not in the corral. They're not where they're supposed to be. How's that sound? So we gotta get them back. Where they are, it's not the end of the world. I knew they were out from last night and I wasn't gonna worry too much about it. They're just in a little paddock behind the barn, so to speak. And so not too worried about that. Uh, just a five gallon pail and they'll chase us. They'll chase me back into where they need to be. And then the few cows back behind the shop here, they need to bail. And generally what we've been doing is 
shredding the bale into the one big 30 foot bunk. For these girls, because I don't have a round bale feeder out there for them. Radio down. Oh, so, yeah. That can be shut off. So, we're gonna get hooked up to the Bale Pro. And grab a bale for them girls out back. And so on and so forth. Get some feeding done. And Mazer Group did finally get back to me later yesterday afternoon about the seals for this uh, three point hitch seal on this tractor that's got a little leakage thing happening. And they are open this morning. So I could just run in and pick up my seals. So that's what's gonna happen here. Great freaking away. And I'm nowhere near where I need to be. tire and of course back up a little more there we go that should do her okay we'll get hooked up we'll talk to you guys later well guys we're heading into the danger zone He's building up and it looks nasty. Not fun. I'm going to go curl up in my fuzzy blanket. Your fuzzy blanket? My fuzzy blanket. Oh. I was going to be smoking sirloin steaks today and turning it into stir fry, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Here she comes. But we got our parts that we need. Anyway, I'm a driving, so we'll catch y'all later. Well, how's it going today, guys? Yeah, we're underneath the tractor. I never got under here yesterday like I was hoping. But this is a three-point hitch hookup arm. Here's the other side that has the tiny little drip. And I just found out in order to fix this I know it's kind of dark there that's better I gotta pull this whole assembly back here off and that's gonna be a cunt right now it's part of the hitch assembly on the back end and that this rod goes from this side straight through and I just found out that I to change that seal there's a spacer. The seal is deeper in, like here. Sorry guys. So about here. And then there's a spacer. And then there's a spherical, that's what they call it, a spherical bearing with seal. Now I gotta replace all of this stuff, which we don't got the bearing. And I don't wanna be down and out another day with this tractor. So he's going to be left alone to drip and uh, I'm going to get the transmission heater put in it. So I got to pull this cover off and then pull the transmission heater out. It goes right, be right here. So yeah. And then change the filters. And it's still stormy weather. Oh, so anyways. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. We just about got her out. That's a long-threaded son of a bitch. See that? Yeah. I'd say it's fucked. 
See that? She all went black. The fucking heater in this thing, it's no different than a electric hot water tank heater, basically, except for the threaded end. New one is right there. Ah. I'll thread him all the way in, and then an inch and three eighths uh, wrench to snug him up. And then put the cord back on. And that's the tranny heater. And then back underneath and pull the filters all out. Okay, later guys. Now wouldn't you guess, guys? It'd be just my luck too, right? Like I don't know if it happens to everybody else, but sure it's fucking happening to me lately. I'm friggin' if shit's gonna go sideways, it's gonna go sideways for me. So, what's going on? Well, this friggin' cord right here, that's transmission cord. Now, wouldn't you guess the cord does not match the heater? The old cord does not match the new heater. The new heater, because I didn't double check before I put it on. Putting too much faith in my New Holland guys. So, the new heater, see there? It's only two prongs. What's that look like? It doesn't match up, and I cannot for the life of me get that to push on there so I got to get a new cord of course friggin sakes so it's another trip to Regina it's not the it's not the cost of the part that bothers me it's the fact that every time I turn around I have to drive to the friggin' city to get that part. That's what bothers me. And at $2.10 a liter for friggin' diesel fuel, that's friggin' ridiculous. The only good part about the whole situation is you get that wire loom, that heavy insulate, insulated heavy wire type loom over the cord to help protect it. I don't know if the new one's gonna come like that or not. So I'm not gonna throw this out just yet, just in case. But yeah. Ugh. See, she's different. The prongs are a little bit thinner on this one and they're heavier duty on the other one. Alrighty, I guess this video will get continued into tomorrow. I'll let you guys go. Talk to you then. Well, hello guys. How the hell are you all doing today? There we are. Underneath the tractor. So there. We got her in. There it is. It's not wire coated like the old one but I think we'll be okay just the same we just gotta watch how we run this sucker and holy crap the friggin ugh, price tag of a fucking cord six feet long when they know they you need it right So the cord goes from 
down the trans in the side of the transmission at the bottom all the way up so yeah it's about a six foot cord maybe seven two hundred and friggin twenty some bucks why why is it that much money I have no idea crazy friggin crazy anyway we got the cord I just gotta run it and get the end here it's actually supposed to go right there right here and this is my baler plug so theoretically I should be moving the baler plug but I have no idea where I'm gonna put it yet the old cord came right through here and this is where the, the baler plug is and that's not gonna fit in there of course hmm and these are the brackets that go with it and then there's a cover kind of like a semi truck unit anyway we'll get this done and then we could fill her up with oil and uh, we should be good to go it'll still have that little drip off of there that uh, three-point hitch pin but at this point I ain't gonna worry about it <sighs> So, I'm going to let you guys go for now, and we'll bring you back once we got her all done. Talk to you later. Alrighty guys, so, tractor's all done. Uh, got a guy coming that needs some black dirt for some landscaping. And getting set up to make our own gamble crop. Our own cover crop, concoction, whatever you want to call it. I had some peas and canola stuff given to me last year from a bin we cleaned out so I'm throwing that all in here plus these peas for that little haul job that we did for uh, straight pipes those are inoculated they're going in here so CP's in the Bobcat and we're just getting this brought over here and we're gonna dump this bag inside the, on top here too. It's only a 20 acre p plot, so that's what we're gonna start with to test this, these hoe drills out. Alrighty, I gotta open this bag up somehow. I gotta get her lifted up higher so I could see. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Well, guys. Happy? That's my sexy chicks. My sexy chicks. They're just freaking chickens, but they're black. They're not all black. No, they're not all black. There's some red ones. How many you got in there? I don't know. I thought I counted 23, but I could be off. One or two. 23, plus and there's two. plus two in the incubator. Yeah. So, this one did a lot better. Yeah. CP thinks on the last batch, because the power went out, and I wasn't home, and she was having trouble with getting the power generator to fire up. And that's probably what caused us to have such a shitty uh, hatch rate on the last bunch. And yeah, so anyway, give us your thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch y'all later.